Hello, welcome back to Next Gen Networkers. Let's learn IEEE Standard 802.11 Wi-Fi architecture in network. The IEEE 802.11 architecture defines how wireless local area networks (WLNs) function. It's the standard for Wi-Fi technology, enabling wireless communication between devices like laptops, smartphones, and routers. Key components of IEEE 802.11.1 STA stations any device with a wireless interface, for example, smartphone, laptop. Point number two, access point, central device that connects wireless clients to the wired network. And it acts as a bridge between WLAN and LAN. Point number three, basic service set, BSS. It refers to a group of STAs, stations, that communicate with each other. Types of BSS, Infrastructure BSS, and Independent BSS, IBS's Infrastructure BSS, includes one access point, AP, and multiple client STAs. Most common in homes, offices. Independent BSS, IBSs, and is also known as ad hoc mode, devices communicate directly with each other, no AP involved. And it is used in temporary or peer-to-peer -peer wireless setups. Point number four, extended service set S. What it does, allows users to roam between different apps, BSSs, seamlessly. Ensures continuous Wi-Fi coverage across large areas, e.g. university campuses, offices. Example is, your phone stays connected while walking across an office building with multiple Wi-Fi access points, that's as in action. Communication types, STA to AP, infrastructure mode. STA to STA, ad hoc mode. Summary, the 802.11 architecture defines the structure, devices, and communication methods for Wi-Fi networks, allowing flexible, wireless connectivity in homes, offices, and public spaces. Thanks for watching. Follow Next Gen Networkers. We are building better networks together. Thank you.